Hello all and happy Friday. So in today's video, I'm back with part two of my Dollarama haul. So I forgot to mention in yesterday's video that these items were picked up at the store that is at Islington and Titan Road. So just north of Islington and Queensway. And uh, yeah, so this first item we're looking at is one of those little wasp stay away simulated wasp nest decoy so it's supposed to help keep wasps away from your area when you're having like outdoor picnics and stuff it was a dollar 75 it is no bait no chemicals it says it's environmentally friendly so just enjoy a wasp free area this is not intended to be a lantern and it says do not put any lights in it but it's just like a little paper it looks like a lantern, but it's not meant to be a lantern. So it just looks like a hive to me. So I got this for Nate because our next unit study in June is going to be bees and butterflies. So I thought this would be something cool to set up maybe on his nature table. And he could do a little bit of that small world pretend play. And he could pretend that uh, this is his beehive with his little bees. So this is what it looks like. And it does have the wire to like... Put it up and so yeah just thought it'd be something different that he can uh, use in his small role play and i thought you know for that price even if it just rips its paper it, you know it's not a bad price for this and then i also thought that if he wanted to pretend he was a beekeeper i picked up these little gardening gloves so they were dollar fifty and uh they're really cute they have like a yellow band for the wrist and then they just have the little bees on them and they have little yellow grips so I thought if he wanted to wear these he could or if he's washing dishes he could wear these too if he wanted to but yeah cute little gardening gloves now for butterflies I found this little wooden set I always love these little wooden pieces these are perfect for arts and crafts activities because you can paint these and decorate them using them on different uh you know your arts creations they're only two dollars and they are by craft or wooden embellishments they are for ages three and up because they are small pieces but why i like these so much is that you have the little divided compartments and they're just a great little fine motor sorting thinking skills kind of little activity you just dump them all into a little container and then have the child sort them out now nate's kind of past that stage it's easy for him to identify these but we also use them in counting little um, activities as well. And another way we've used items like this is you pour them into a bag that like he could not see what they are. And then he can feel them and then try to uh, match up the ones by just a fill. So that's another way to do it as well. But yeah, so great for that uh, visual discrimination activities as well. But these are just little butterflies or some flowers and leaves. And there's kind of different and like I said you could use them in your art projects as well I also like to include like some practical life activities and uh, sometimes we do like washing dishes or folding washcloths now I was looking through all the washcloths and we we're looking for one with like butterflies on it there was a couple but Nate really liked this one with the purple flower so this is by Dean he's on it's two dollars it's just a kitchen towel this one also includes dragonflies as well but there is like a little butterfly here and there's like one over here as well so yeah we'll use this in some practical life activities even like dusting items i don't know if there's actual size on here but this is 90 percent cotton and 10 percent polyester but yeah it's a really nice little washcloth this I thought was a cool little find. These were $1.75 and this is a 12 piece set of magnetic butterflies. So there's different types of butterflies in there and as you can see there's a little tiny magnet there. Now if you're using this with smaller children I will keep that in mind because that magnet might come off. But uh, I thought Nate could you know maybe use his little fishing pole and uh, Try to pick these up with this little magnet of fishing pole. Just a fun little activity that you could do. But yeah, I thought that was a neat little find. I picked up another one of these crafts felt swatches. They are three dollars, and you get forty pieces of felt. Don't know if it actually says the size of each square, but they come in all these really nice colors. So yeah, use these in a lot of art projects, and these are also great in that small world play. Like the greens could be grass. And you can use the blue for water, 
yellow for sand so that's always a good little find as well and that's a good price for this many little swatches of felt I picked up another one of these little books they're $1.75 and the other one I picked up before was the anger one. They also come in, I think it was worry and happiness. So this one is Freddie Meets Forgiveness. And it's just a cute little life lesson book. So I grabbed this one. And there are pages, like um, areas on the pages that are a little bit glossy. Like his hat here. It's kind of a little bit of a touch and fill element as well. But yeah, just I thought this would be another good read to go along with the anger book little you know the images are adorable as well and the last item I want to show you is this now Nate is only five years old but if I can I'll try to link it down in the description he's been watching something on YouTube called numberology blocks or something like that but I will link it down below and he's super into math and he's been quoting multiplication now I know a lot of these cards he's not going to understand but since he's into it, I picked up a deck of these flashcards. So these are by Homeroom. There's 36 flashcards, and these are the multiplication flashcards. So, you know, we'll go over and, uh, you know, I'll just show him. And he really, he's really into it. He's been doing like three times um, three and quoting that. He also quoted to two neighbors of us. He was like, seven times 10 is 17, but I think he meant to say 17, but yeah. So he likes it. So I'm going to, anything that I can get him that will promote stuff that he likes, I will get it. So these are only a dollar 75. And as he gets older, he might need these anyway. So I grabbed them when I saw them there. So thanks so much for watching this haul from Dollarama. I will talk to you in the next video. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Take care and bye for now.